Tokyo Game Show may still be a couple weeks away, but you'd never know it with the arrival of the 43rd Amusement Machine Show, which is essentially a CES-style trade show for new amusement devices and arcade games coming out in Japan. The majority of the show's floor space is dedicated to things like big mechanical dinosaurs promoting dino fighting games for kids, and also lots of location-based amusement devices. Sega's booth did, however, draw a large crowd this year for a look at Limburg, the company's new arcade hardware platform which will run games like <laughs> and also or smash 3 did we mention One of the new games that was shown for the Lindbergh was Yu Suzuki's new Sci-Fi, which basically squares you and an opponent off in a touchscreen battle to the death. Using the arrows in the corners of the screen, you're able to maneuver your character around the screen, all the while launching projectile attacks of your own. Some pretty nice looking zombies were shown off as well in a brief trailer of House of the Dead 4. Sega also had a game called Quest for D, an action RPG that let you play with a joystick and buttons, but handled your character's management with another touchscreen. This 2D fighting game Sega had featured one of the guys from Fist of the North Star anime series and was for the Atomus Wave arcade hardware system. It looked to hold true to the original magic formula, even though it's the first time the game is not running on SNK's Neo Geo hardware. Sega's Under Defeat was a chopper game that looked to be a mix of Blades of Thunder and Desert Strike. Moving on to Namco's booth, we found a new version of Tekken 5 called Dark Resurrection. The game is an arcade update that includes two new characters, Dragonov, who looks like a cross between Marilyn Manson and Brian Fury, and Lily, who has some deceptive moves and some wicked kick combos. Capcom also showed up, but contrary to rumors, did not bring Street Fighter 4. Instead, the company announced a new arcade game called War of the Grail, which from the video looked pretty snazzy, but currently doesn't have a release date. An arcade version of Mario Kart was also on display, which includes new characters like Pac-Man seen here, and of course new power-ups. The arcade version also puts your face in the game, with a small camera mounted above the screen, puts a still of you in the corner and also above your car. One crazy PC style pay to play arcade game on display was Counter-Strike Neo, which is essentially Counter-Strike with futuristic levels of player skins. I think the ninja and other elements from Metal Gear Solid slammed into Counter-Strike. The weapons, many sound effects, and overall play mechanics have remained the same despite the new coat of paint. Proving that you just simply can't have a Japanese video game show of any kind without Gundams, Banpresto had this game that most notably featured a giant pod to sit in that includes a projector and a large screen that gives you a ridiculously cool panoramic view of your surroundings and literally puts you in the cockpit of a giant robot. Van Presto also had a Dragon Ball Z game that looked and played similar to the PS2's Budokai 3. That's about it. Back to you, Rich.